Big Boulder here, just southwest of Ohio. Flooding situation continues to worsen here across California. I'm near Las Cruces, California, just to the north of Santa Barbara, where this flow continues to dramatically increase in size. Definitely a flood zone here. And there are a lot of old burn scars here along the southern edge of the Santa Ynez Mountains. And those are gonna cause mud flows like this down near Santa Barbara and Montecito. We're just at the beginning of this atmospheric river. And look at this thing rip. This is normally a dry creek bed here off the mountains but we are getting rainfall rates of an inch per hour out here, and the flooding threat is gonna continue for the next 48 hours or more across Southern California. It's only gonna get worse, and it's gonna start hammering that extra sensitive San Bernardino area as well. Winds, rainfall rates continue to intensify. Big surf, over a trillion gallons of water gonna fall here on California. Major atmospheric river dominating already, and a lot more to go out here. Oh, feel that wind. You can literally see the orographic lift happening right here. I'm near San Marcos Pass in the San Inez Mountains. And look at that, big time easterlies of the atmospheric river, squeezing out all that moisture. Very heavy rainfall rates, an inch to an inch and a half an hour. And we have got a wash just behind me that is raging and that's all flowing downstream toward the Montecito area. Dangerous, flash flooding is on the way. Overnight tonight, tomorrow across Southern California. High risk for excessive rainfall. Worst case scenario here in this atmospheric river is gonna set up over Southern California, big time problems. Look at down here, you can see that flood raging down there. Already a landslide down there too. And that's all flowing downhill on the Southern slopes of the San Inez Mountains. Big orographic lift, we got it near the tops of the trees, just raging up there. Wow! go. Big winds here. Right in our face. Big winds happening. Oh yeah. Here it goes. Atmospheric ripper out here. I'm now up near San Marcos Pass and we are up in the fog of the atmospheric river. Big wind up here. Once you get over the pass, you're gonna feel that orographic lift. Look at it in the trees. Big wind up here. We are in the fog, folks. Now we are shifting into dangerous flood mode, life-threatening flash flooding. We've got a handful of flash flood warnings that have been issued for a 10 hour period. That's a very long period of flash flooding. And it includes Los Angeles all the way up here to the higher terrain where I'm socked in fog and I'm about to drop down to the flood zone. 
Here we go. Big winds here. Right in our face, big winds happening. Oh yeah, here it goes. Atmospheric ripper out here. Rainfall rates exceeding an inch per hour are moving in to the Southern California coastline just to the north of Santa Barbara. And this is when the dangerous flooding is going to begin. This wash just started flowing near the Gaviota wind caves uh, to the north of Santa Barbara. Winds are gusting up to hurricane force further up the coast near Big Sur. And it's flows like this that are gonna continue to expand and get a lot worse. So right at the beginning of this atmospheric river event, could even see double digit rainfall totals in the mountains above this area, especially across the transverse range where winds are pumping orthogonally into that terrain and squeezing out all the moisture. These washes are flowing right toward the Pacific Ocean. Areas in Santa Barbara, Montecito, those are flood prone areas. They're gonna have big problems as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. You can already start to see a little bit of debris coming down this wash towards the Gaviota Wind Cave. We are just getting started here, folks. Dangerous atmospheric river event has begun. It will continue for the next couple of days.